So if you're a web developer thinking about uh, getting a MacBook Air, one of the questions you have to deal with is, should you go for the base unit, 8 GB, or should you upgrade to 16 GB? That's an extra $200, which if you can afford is fine. But if you want to save that money and uh, you're thinking about it, there's a lot of talking head videos on YouTube that tell you that 8 GB is absolutely never going to be useful for web development. Don't make these mistakes, blah, 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 blah. Um, <laughs> I sometimes wonder if any of those people in those videos have actually done web dev on an 8 GB machine. So I'm here to show you actual real life usage of web dev on an 8 GB M2. <clears throat> You've seen the channel before, I like to do real world examples, right? Rather than long speeches. Um, so let's just get into it. I've currently got two projects open. Both are Next.js 14 projects. One is called the block test over here. Uh, this is VS Code. And one is called Feedback. Both of them are running. One is running on uh, localhost 3000. One is running on localhost 3001. And uh, obviously I've got Chrome going because uh, this is yeah localhost 3000 and then this is localhost 3001. So both of them are actually running right now. On Chrome, I have about uh, 12 odd um, tabs. I've got the usual suspect, I've got Copilot, which has just drawn me this nice graphic, which will probably become the title for this video. Uh, it's great at, at, at image generation for YouTube videos, by the way. You should try it out. I have a Superbase here because uh, one of the projects has the Superbase as the backend. And so I like to keep uh, an eye on the sort of uh, interface for that as well. I've got my emails. Uh, I've got a random YouTube video, uh, the Verge, the, my usual suspects. I've got my channel open, uh, GitHub, Vercel, because that's where I'm going to host <coughs> Sorry, this project. This is the instance of one of the projects on the web, right? So it's actually hosted uh, on Vercel, which deploys it to this particular domain. So just for testing, I generally have this open as well. I also have Copilot going, which did uh, not that good a job of the pictures. Sometimes it's better, sometimes uh, Copilot is better. And I've also got... Uh, yeah, LinkedIn for some reason open. So about 12 odd of these, a couple of windows of these. Um, and with all that, let's take a look at my memory situation. So I go to Activity Monitor. And first of all, let's just look down here. Uh, I have 8 GPU physical memory, as I mentioned. I'm currently using 7.2 well, GB. Uh, I do have a swap file of uh, 3 GB. And uh, if you look here, uh, 1 GB is actually taken by OBS Studio. This is what I'm using to actually record this video. So you should actually subtract this from this, right? Because if I was not recording, I would not be using it. So that's not typical usage, but we we'll let it go. Even with that, I'm not maxing out. Uh, the swap file is a little bit bigger because of it. Typically, it would not be that big, but, but that's fine. Uh, the two instances, the next server, are each costing around 1 GB. Then a lot of Chrome windows, obviously a lot of Chrome helpers and servers and so on. Um, but nothing very dramatic. Here's the code uh, yeah, editor. What else? There's some helpers from code. Uh, and then smaller and smaller things uh, going down. So all of this is not taxing my system to the extent at all. I mean, I'm actually finding it very, very usable, very, very responsive. If I go into, for example, uh, Chrome, if I, it's always a good test. If I go to the Word, and if I try to scroll, as you can see, the machine is absolutely responsive. There's really no problem at all. I don't know what, what the problem people have with 8GB. Yes, you would love to get 16GB. I would love to get 16GB, but it's not to say that 8GB is not usable. It's just plain wrong. Um, so let's just actually do one last test. So I've got this here. Let's actually stack this to one side. And over here, I have, um, this is one of the projects, and uh, let's just actually go in and make a little change. So uh, this is, by the way, Next.js 14. I'm using the uh, app router for this thing. And if I go to the page which is displayed right now, I just want to make a small change to it and show you how quick the update goes. So it says create survey here. That's the button over here. And it has a color of uh, background green 600, right? So let's make it red. I'm going to make this red 600. I save it, and over here, it's going to get red. Now, you notice that there's a little bit of a flash before it, but that's because I've not used this particular window for a while. Now, this is what the software will do. But if I now go back to blue, it's instant, right? So, so that's the whole point of the software. Whatever process you're actively using at this point of time, it's going to bring that to the front and you know it becomes active and by the way this is not my typical usage i would typically not have two projects running at the same time 
So actually, let's close one right now. So I'm going to close this one. So now I have only one one running, which is much more realistic. And with this, if I go back to Activity Monitor, because I have, yeah, there we go, one server is gone. And so that frees up some memory. Instantly, as you can see, the swap file size has reduced to under 2 GB. And if I were to close down OBS Studio, which is just recording it, then it will fall down further. Uh, and this is more typical for me. And with this, uh, it will be even snappier. Uh, there will be absolutely no problem. So the purpose of this video is just to show you some real-life usage. You have to make up your own mind. If you can want to go to 16 GB, 32 GB, 64 GB, whatever you want, absolutely go for it. But if you are stuck with a budget or if you are considering an older machine, perhaps, uh, this is an M2, by the way. I could be doing the same thing on an M1 as well. I do have my old M1. I assure you, I could be doing all of this on the M1 with the GP as well. It would be just fine. Uh, so if you want to do web dev on a MacBook here, um, go for it. And memory will absolutely not be a problem for you. Uh, hope this was uh, helpful and thanks for watching.